Hello and welcome. We are the Ancestral Medicine Women. This ray of light is about behavioral problems in children. First of all, we want to stress that we do not see or imagine that children have behavioral problems. This is not how we view the child. We view the child as a complete entity, as a complete being, and the way they are behaving and the way they process the world is part of who they are. So it is very important that you understand that there is no judgment of the child. There is no looking at the child and tut, 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 they are naughty children or they are uh, this or they are that. That is not what it is about. We view the child as complete. And the way they process and present themselves to the world is complete. The other thing that often happens in society is that it says, oh, the parent is to blame. Again, here we do not say that the parent is the problem. That is the parent's behavior that is causing the child's behavior. What we do say is that the two together is forming an interaction. That the child and the, and the parent or the significant uh, carer, they are forming a interaction. And that interaction is forming or is informing, shall we say, the behavior of the child and the behavior of the parent. And it is the interaction that we would be looking at first. How do we look at the interaction? We look at the interaction because we look at the child where they have come from. What would form this particular child in this, partic this complete package? What would form them? Why have they come here now in this particular form? And then we would look at the parent and we would look at exactly the same thing. And then we would ask the question, why did this parent and this child choose each other? Because it is very important that you understand it is not by mistake, it is not by chance that this has happened. This is a something that you have both planned. You have actually created each other. So then we would look once we have got that at this interaction. And it is at this interaction that we will eventually come to a point of understanding. And that is how we would look at child behavioral problems. First of all, not looking at them at all as problems, but as complete beings and we would then also look at the adult and say not a problem not adult problems but again a complete being a complete package that is how we would look and help child behavioral problems